Welcome to the show that will keep you from falling behind during the week. The Friday Catch-Up with the hostess with no ghost is Belinda. The Friday Catch-Up is brought to you by the Paraquest Radio Network. And hi everybody, it's week 29, woohoo! And I'd like to welcome Jackie, my fabulous co-hostess. Hello! Hello! <laughs> no dead air that time, yay! Yay! Yeah, I didn't get all tongue-tied. <laughs> it helps. Yeah, that usually helps. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's been a long ass week. Yes, yes it has. Yeah, school vacation started here. Oh my god, I've got another week and a half. Oh. <laughs> well, it's only a week come Friday, so that's not too bad. But yes, I've survived. Well, if it makes you feel better, I know you're paying, but I mean, granted, mine's 17 months old, yours is what, 10? Yeah. So I can kind of feel your pain. Well, you sort of have the school vacation thing 24 7, so, you know. Yeah. I think it's probably oh. just such a transition from when you go from, like, they're not there for five, six hours a day, and you're like, party time, and then suddenly they're there 24-7, you're like, hey, this sucks. <laughs> Get back to school. Yeah. <laughs> my child has been, oh my god, this is one of those weeks where you start really questioning why you didn't eat your child at birth. Mm-hmm. It kind of makes you understand why lions kill the young. Yes, yes, and eat them, yes. Granted, I would never actually do anything to hurt my child, but I was just kind of staring there looking at her and said, you know what, if your daddy had just pulled out a few minutes earlier. (laughs) And then she looks at me and goes, ice! (laughs) You're like, yeah, that's cool. (laughs) (laughs) She said iced tea today, so, you know. Woohoo! Yeah. She's getting smart. Yeah, her daddy got all excited, and I was like, crap. Yeah, but hey, if she gets a better vocabulary, then she'll be able to speak better, and then she won't be grunting and screaming so much, so it kind of makes it a little easier. Who lied to you? Who lied to me? No, no, no. I mean, it makes the tantrums a little bit, you know, a little bit less. You can at least understand why they're throwing the fit this time. Yeah, because they usually scream out exactly why they're having the fit in the first place. Yes. Ah, Speaking of throwing a fit, um, (laughs) I have an interesting story to tell you. Oh, do tell. Yes. um, Janie. I won't say my friend Janie because it's just (laughs) getting redundant. (laughs) But that other person that we know. uh, Yeah, Janie called me while she was on break today. She told me that her boss was being – well, she started off the story with, Basically, everything leading up to this point, she had dropped. So then she starts, she says, um, and then my boss walks in. I said, did you drop her too? She goes, no. I said, ah, that would have been funny. <laughs> and she starts talking about basically her boss had been a smart aleck. And um, I said, you know, you should have just politely shoved your foot up her butt. And she goes, I should have. And uh, I said, that would have been funny. I would request pictures. And um, then she says, yes, my boss likes to treat all of us like we're children. I said, well, throw one good temper tantrum in the middle of the aisle, and I guarantee you that will stop. You may be fired, but that will stop. (laughs) Well, that would be how it would stop. (laughs) To which I then went on to go, I don't want to put the cereal up this way. I want to put it up this way. (laughs) But I don't like And then you do the kicking and screaming. Yeah, I'm still waiting for the day when, you know, the unsuspecting day when my daughter takes me out and it's Christmas time and the shopping centre is just absolutely packed and I can lie on the ground and have a screaming Mimi right there, right in front of Santa (laughs) because that's what she did to me and I can't wait. (laughs) Revenge is a dish best served cold. Yeah, but it's summer, so unless the air comes up really high, yeah, this one will be kind of hot. Then revenge is a dish best served hot in Australia. Yes. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> unless it's winter, then it's a dish best served cold. <laughs> yeah. It depends on which hemisphere you're in, I suppose. Yes. Yeah. I'll work around that eventually. So I have some other good news for you. Do you? Yes, I do. Well, as a matter of fact, I have been 
for those of you who are friends of mine on Twitter or Facebook, I have been promoting the show on both my personal account and my Jackie Spade account. And Twitter, I'm under the name Jackie Spade, so follow me. Anyway, um, I've been putting hashtags up because we, you know, our biggest topic, especially this week, is um, Doctor Who and Torchwood. Mm-hmm. Well, I sign on today. I get on the computer. I go and check my email, and I get alerts when people start following me. So I have a new follower called Who News. Who's Who News? Who News, as in like Doctor Who News. I was like. Yes! So, you know, if they just so happen to stop by and listen, it, it's quite entirely possible they might you know, spread the word out. So, yes, it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and then Matt Smith will listen, and John Barrowman will listen, and we'll get interviews out the wazoo. It'll be fantastic. Or nothing will happen, in which case I can still dream. Yeah, we'll just keep dreaming till it happens. Dream on, dream on. Sorry. <laughs> Are we ready for our, our Doctor Who hit for this week? You messed up the segue. <sighs> well, I always mess it up. Obviously. Oh. What you were supposed to say, Belinda, was... I don't remember anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. See, you muckered it up, too. <laughs> yeah, what I was, what you were supposed to say was, speaking of Doctor Who, guess what? And then play the song. <laughs> speaking of Doctor Who, guess what? What? <laughs> Sound must mean that it's Doctor Who weekend again. <laughs> this is a stumbling to recover from the lack of communication. Yeah, we'll blame Skype. Yes, it was all Skype's fault. <laughs> this show is brought to you by two monkeys who do not know how to work computers. <laughs> hey, I'm not a monkey. <laughs> Along with the letter H or H and the number 8. Yes. <laughs> Unless I did that backwards, in which case it was the number H and the letter 8. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, what news have we got this week? Well, let's see. News has been released over the Christmas special that's coming up. Mm-hmm. Apparently this one's going to be quite star-packed. The only thing that I'm kind of iffy on is it's supposed to be in, set in war-torn England during World War II. Oh. So we have, you know, a couple of Doctor Who stores. Apparently there is someone up there that is just obsessed with World War II. Well, you know, it was kind of England's, you know, most pivotal moment. So he's usually in the pivotal There's... moments. Let's see. So our star lineup is... Da, 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 da. Claire Skinner, Bill Bailey, Arabella Weir, and Alexander Armstrong. I like Bill Bailey. Yes. Isn't that the one that showed up on Top Gear with the name badge of Angelina Jolie? I can't remember that bit, but Bill Bailey's in a in a UK TV show called Black Books. It is hilarious. Yes. What's funny is I didn't know that. I was reading along. Oh. Well, I, I've got the box set of Black Books, and, you know, we've watched at least about four or five times, so it's an excellent show. Well, that makes sense. Yes, yeah, so, um, did you, did, were you able to catch The Girl Who Waited? Yes. And what did you think of it? It was sad. <laughs> See if you can drag that out a little bit longer and make it a little more nasally, Belinda. What? <laughs> so out of ten, where would you rate it? Um oh goodness. Well I don't know, I yeah. Sort of a six, I think. Because six. Yeah. I think they probably could have done a bit more with it and that makeup was scary. So Yeah, kinda. Of. <laughs> 
you know. Let's um, see. The episode that's coming up for you is The God Complex, and I really liked it. Is it scary? Mm, not so much scary. It's more of a psychological... Huh? Oh, okay. So i got to think about this one. Yeah, so um, have aspirin. Nearby. <laughs> I can't have aspirin. Then whatever painkiller you can keep around. Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm having a Mars bar today. Oh, God. Changing it up a little bit. Keeping it Run fresh. Run for your lives, people. <laughs> Run for your lives. Oh. No, but I really did like it. Um, It's... When it first started, I was like, oh, God, this is going to be one of those eh, things. But as it went on and kept going on, it just really messes with your mind. Like, you kind of have to sit there for a minute and go, wait, what? Huh? And then it's over, and you want to watch it again. Like, it's one of those that you you watch it once for to get the shock value out of the way, to get the main points of the story, and then you watch it again to catch the humor and all of this and it makes you want to watch it again so out of 10 I'd probably give it a 9 to a 9.5 mm, okay so and there's a twist at the end that some people me included uh, well you, you really don't see this coming and uh, a lot of Doctor Who fans I can't tell you much I can't tell you why but some Doctor Who fans will be excited about the ending. Ah. Okay, well, we'll wait and see, and then we'll pop New Zealand's bubble, hey? Yeah, <laughs> pop the cherry. I mean, bubble. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Uh-huh. Speaking of Doctor Who, again, no, you don't have to play the song. The, the, the song! <laughs> oh. Or the song. Or Whatever. The, or the if, song. Yeah. I don't know how you would play a thong. I guess you could, like, put it on a comb and go, but, you know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Switching up to its sister show. Shut up, Belinda. Moving <laughs> over to its sister show, Torchwood. There is news of t- in th- in th- la- this week of Torchwood as well. Yay. Yes. So, moving on to our first story. <clears throat> John Barrowman hits back at complaints over Torchwood's sex scene. Mm-hmm. 